I'm trying to do the math here, but I just can't seem to figure out how this Leicester team is 19th in the Premier League. It makes no sense. Bro, look at that midfield. Look at that attack. How is this even happening? Well, I guess that's why I'm here for. I'm going to be taking over Leicester City for 10 seasons to make them a Premier League winning team. Although I say 10 seasons, the last couple of takeovers we've done haven't quite gone down well. No, we got sacked. We lasted seven seasons at Arsenal, but we got the sack. In our sixth season with Man City, we get sacked for literally no reason. Like, we won the Champions League, we won the Premier League, the objectives that we didn't do were on the, the list of low priority, and still this happened. So yeah, hopefully we can last the 10 seasons for the first time in FIFA 23. Alright guys, here we go. Our first big takeover in the way of FIFA 23. We're taking a not so good team and trying to change their fortunes over a decade. Remember guys, it's gonna be a slow process because we can't just sign everyone we want. We can only make two transfers every season. Whenever an offer comes from a club above us in the Premier League, we're going to have to accept for one player every season. So it's going to create some chaos. Okay, so let's start by figuring out what this team needs. And instantly, it's a Kasper Schmeichel replacement. All right, guys, season one begins with Leicester. First thing, that midfield is so freaking good. If we can keep hold of these guys for a while, we should be good to go. The issue in this team right now, I feel, is that goalkeeper position. We need a brand new goalkeeper. Kasper Schmeichel was a literal goalkeeper for Leicester City. I mean, he won the Premier League with them. What's bigger than that? These are going to be big shoes to fill. I said we needed a new keeper and we've done exactly that. I've signed the man from Georgia, Mamar Dashvili. Hopefully I'm saying his name right, but he's good. And we got it through a swap deal by putting Danny Ward and 15 million. That seems like an absolute bargain. And he's actually 78 rated. That's a solid upgrade, you know? There you go. New keeper looking awesome. Before we get into our next signing, one thing's for sure. We better focus on objectives because if we don't, there's a good chance we could get sacked. And I want to try and complete the 10 seasons. I'm so glad the youth development is on low. We should be good then. Bro, this objective is so silly. Within two seasons, we're supposed to increase the team's experience level. They want to get me a squad full of oldies. Like, what's this? Are we supposed to become Barcelona from like back in 2020 and get ripped apart by Bayern or something? But the rest of the objectives aren't too bad. So I think we should be fine. Well, I think we should be fine for our objectives for now. But now we got to decide where does that second signing happen. Backline is okay. We could do with an improvement, but I really feel like Ayose Perez, is he the man to be on the right wing for us? Oh, we've got 50 million and I really want to do something crazy. I really want to bring back Riyad Mahrez. I feel like he's 31, you know, leaning towards his not so prime years. He's had a great career at Man City. I want to bring him back, but I just feel like it's not possible right now. Or maybe it is if we can be a very good negotiator. You know what? We'll give it a go. Signing Mares would just be so much fun. We're gonna have to start at like 46 million for him. This might get really tricky. The countering at 53, but we don't even have that. 47 is like the most we can do right now. Ah, uh, we just can't afford him. We'll sell a few players and maybe come back to this because I am determined to sign him. Ladies and gentlemen, the process has begun. I've made a couple of player sales. We should be up real good in cash. 3.1 million from selling Mendy and another 4.7 million from selling Vestigard. So after a bit of hard Hard work, we're up to 62 million. Will that be enough to sign Riyad Mahrez? Starting with 48 million for him. And that's actually worked. Yo, Pep Guardiola's accepted it this time. I legit cannot believe we've pulled this off. Riyad Mahrez is back at Leicester City. This is awesome. Our most expensive transfer yet. Hilariously enough, Mahrez is going to help us with the objective because he's 31 and he increases the average age of the squad. All right, so season one, and that's actually how our team looks like. Mahrez coming in, a solid keeper coming in. I like it. Let's see how we do this season. First season with Leicester City and we end up finishing ninth in the Premier League. Now, I'd say that isn't too bad. We were like a couple of points off seventh place, especially considering where Leicester City are in real life. Even the squad is looking really good now. Some solid growth in a lot of good areas. Hudson Darker is basically now ready to be a starting player for us. We have a few unhappy players like Samari, which I'm not surprised. You know, we've got Ndidi in here, so yeah, can't blame him. But I think for a first season, not too bad. Let's see who was our top scorer. It was Jamie Vardy. Wow. One goal more than Riyad Mahrez. That is insane. The elements pipped Mahrez for top assist too. First season and these are our top scorers, but I think this is going to change. We start off the second season with a stern warning from the board, obviously. Uh, 48 is our manager popularity rating. They literally want us to get top four this season. Are you kidding me? I'm scared. I, I really am scared. Bro, we saw 
signed Mares and our average age is still 26.4. These guys, man. Okay, we've got two signings to improve this team. What do we do is the real question. Remember, guys, this season, if we get an offer for one of our big players from a club that finished above us in the Prem, we're gonna have to sell him. Let's just hope it's not the elements. For season two, I'm thinking we gotta get a better center back here, because that's what's holding us back. We need a quality center back, someone high rated. And honestly, I'm willing to spend all our budget on that one player. And I think I found the man we need. It's Bremer from Juventus, 85 rated, 26 years old. This is a dub. We've got 72 million, but if we start with 50, if we can get a deal on this, that would be insane. He's 85 rated. This would be amazing if they want 79. We're going to be as stingy as possible. 54.6 is my counter. They're going with 74. We're going up to 58, but look at that tension bar. Oh, they've said yes. They've said yes. We've somehow negotiated that down to 58 mil. Our biggest signing yet, Bremer, 58.693496. Anyways, we've signed Bremer and a price rating of A on him. So that, that's going to help with us trying to keep our job. I love this, guys. Bremer looks solid in that back line. And all right, guys, season two. Let's see how we fare. We need to get Champions League football this season. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. No, no. Just as I was simming through the season, Chelsea, who finished above us, have come in for our center back. Woot is 21.2 million. We literally have to sell him. Oh, he's a good player. But you know what? I'm just glad it's not Tielemans. Ruth Fies is gone. We need a new centre-back. I've managed to find a very interesting centre-back to replace Fies. It's Kim Min Che. By the way, this guy won Serie A Player of the Month. He's 82 rated. And it's better than So Yunchu. This is a dub. Definitely was a slight surprise selling our centre-back. But Kim Min Che and Prema, a new backline. Let's see how this season goes. Well, can't lie. Steady progress. I mean, we were aiming for Champions League. But hey, we got Europa League for the upcoming season, I think. Or maybe Conference League. I don't know, but I'll take it. Solid progress. We finished above Arsenal. No, we could have won a first trophy. We lost to Liverpool in the FA Cup final. That is tough. But okay, I'm seeing some solid play growth. Look at our keeper. 84 rated now. Although play growth is kind of nerf this year compared to other years. Okay, this season we really saw Riyad Mahrez at his best. He's helped us get into that sixth spot in the Prem. Pats and Darkers had a good season, but that growth is horrendous. I had my doubts on Mares whether he'll be good or not, but look at that. He has come through. He's our top scorer and top assister after a couple of seasons. You know what? I think we've done well in these first couple of seasons, but it's it's time to take it up a step further. The signings need to be bigger. We need to start winning some trophies. Come on now. Now we're talking the budget for season three has gone through the roof. 103 million, but the board expect us to win the Europa League. Oh my goodness. I like the back line. It, it's decent, but we literally need a better striker. Absolutely, and that's, I think, what we're going to work towards. Wait a minute. I went in to try and sign Osiman. He's been signed by Arsenal. What about Gabriel Jesus, then? Have they already sold him? No way. They still have him. What's the point of having both of them? I think maybe this is an opportunity for us to sign Gabriel Jesus. He's been such a fun player to watch this season. Honestly, I want to sign him. Because they've got Osiman, I think they should be willing to sell him. But for 88 million? No, no, no. No, we're gonna get that down. Countering with 68.7. These guys are sticking 80. Okay, let's up our offer to 74.7 million and that works. Now we're talking. And there you go. Gabriel Jesus is a Leicester City player. Now that's a pickup. Maybe he's gonna be the next Jamie Vardy for us. That's the hope. Having Darker as backup. Now that's what I call building a squad. I was pretty much done with my signings and ready with the squad for the upcoming season, but then you won't believe what happened. An offer from Spurs. You need to elements 78.1 million and you know what's the worst thing go back and see where we finished in the prem last season it was it was sixth but spurs finished fifth by one point and that means we, we have to accept this oh, I'm, I'm hurting right now no don't don't take the elements away from me it's a good offer and we have to accept it pain absolute pain he's gone guys He's gone. UDT Elements is gone. We're gonna have to replace him. How on earth have we let this happen? With the Elements gone, we're back to 100 plus million. And now we desperately need a quality midfielder. Oh my god, guys. I think we've just hit the lottery. Jude Bellingham's contract is expiring in 12 months. By the way, Jude Bellingham, in my opinion, should have won the Copa Award, which is basically the golden boy. Gavi won it, but I think Jude deserved it more. Anyways, we can get him for an absolute steal right now. And he'll be the perfect replacement for the Elements. His contract 
contract's expiring. I'm going in with 80 million trying to get a deal out of this. 94. Can we, like, negotiate this further? Is there any point doing it, though? We'll, we'll, we'll do it to keep our manager rating high. 89. You know what? Let's not play anymore. Let's get it done. Okay, this is actually a madness. Like... You know what? When, when when you get into, like, troubling situations, doors open, and you gotta pick one of them. And that's exactly what we've done. We made the best out of a terrible situation signing Jude Bellingham. No excuses now, guys. With this squad, we need to get into the Champions League for next season. Sixth in the Premier League again with this team. I'm disappointed. It's five points off the top, nine off the title. I expected more. But look at some of the players. Bellingham is up to 91 and DD 88. Mares retained his overall, so the squad is looking good. I'm surprised we didn't do better. Well, we did better by winning our first trophy in this takeover. Trophy number one, FA Cup against Liverpool. That is our first trophy. We also won the Carabao Cup, made that trophy number two. And we also made the Europa League final. That's why we kind of messed up in the Premier League. Our focus was on winning trophies. Club Bruges versus Leicester City. Let's make it three trophies this season and make it in the Champions League for the next one and we've done exactly that gabriel jesus scores the winner champions league for next season plus three trophies this season incredible i have managed to do the impossible guys the board are pleased with me at least for now guys riyad mares is something else what a signing like look at him he's gonna be our top scorer even at the age of 34 riyad mares is leicester's goat man honestly just take a look at that budget we're in the champions league and the board are backing us but I'm sure that kind of money comes with a bit of a catch. They want us to reach the Champions League final. Oh, God. This is where I feel like the board are going to start looking at sacking us. Let's hope not. And the objective is to still get a Champions League spot, at least. That, that's, that's good. But this looks like the first takeover where we might be in the job for a fair bit. Okay, in terms of signings, first thing I want to do is get an insane left back. Ooh, Kieran Tierney, 85 rated. I like that. Contract expiring as well. Meanwhile, I decided to sell James Justin. We're going to sign another left back. We've got Luke Thomas. It's smart. Welcome, Kieran Tierney. We've got now an 85 rated left back. I don't want to do this, but I think it's also finally time we get a replacement for Riyad Mahrez. And I think Rodrigo will be just perfect. And he's playing for Spurs. We can maybe get revenge for the elements. Oh, he's going to be expensive. I'm starting with 76 million. Bro, they counted with 114. Okay, let's do 85 million. Come on now. Let's, let's, let's think out. Shit. Okay, this is bad. I think we're gonna have to chuck out 100 mil. He's 24, 86 rated. I'm willing to do it. 107? You know what? Let's just do it. And there you go, boys. Rodrigo is on board. Come on now. That's what I call a class signing. Mares on the bench. Rodrigo as a starter. I like the squad. I really do. Surely this is gonna be the first season we get top four on merit. Okay, so for the first time in this takeover, we managed to get top four on merit. That is awesome. Champion Champions League for next season, guaranteed with that. We also won the Community Shield, so that's trophy number four. We lost the UEFA Super Cup, though. But in the Champions League, we actually did pretty well. Topped our group, knocked out Dortmund, got through Man City, but Spurs knocked us out. That is a real bummer. But just look at that team. Oh my god, was Rodrigo a good signing? We get maybe a centre-back or something? We should be good to win maybe the Champions League next season. Riyad Mahrez only scored two goals. <laughs> The downfall has begun, but he was a fantastic servant to the club. Gabriel Jesus, though, coming in with the goal. We have a new top assister in town, and it's Harvey Barnes. Mahrez still top scorer, but he better be careful. We've survived season five without the board really giving us a big warning. That in itself is a dub, and we've won four trophies along the way. But this season, I think we need to be going for the Premier League. I mean, our team is actually just insane. Let's get a new centre-back first. We've got 247 million. Now is the time for for us to just sign whoever we want. I've never used this guy in career mode before. Nico Schlotterbeck. He's got 87 overall. 26. Bro, this is the player we need to partner, Bremer. One more thing, guys. We've been really lucky. For a while, we haven't seen a club bigger than ours coming in with, of course, offers. By the way, Riyad Mahrez has finally left the club. 100 million for Nico Schlotterbeck. He's an 87 rated center back and we need this kind of a player. Kim Min-Jae on backup. That sounds good. I was gonna sign a right back for backup, but then I 
I realized we need some better players in the wing positions as well. Matuik is 85 rated with a release clause of 65 million. Yo, his contract's expiring. Let's just get him instead. And that is our wing position sorted. I love this squad, guys. I absolutely do. I think it's about time we win the Premier League title. We're at the end of season five, and this is the closest we've come to the Premier League title. Three points off. Oh, that is such a bummer. We do manage to win the Carabao Cup, though, so that's trophy number five, I think. No, no, no. In the Champions League, we finished third, and we got group. This could legit get us sacked. The only way we don't get sacked is by winning the Europa League, I think, and we're in the final. Bro, our team is looking so insane right now. We've got to win the Europa League at least. Our job is on the line. We need to win this against Ajax. Can we get ourselves another trophy? Yes, we can. Trophy number six secured in five seasons. Not bad. Our second Europa League, I think. Gabriel Jesus has been on rail. 32 goals this season. Mares is gone, so we're gonna have a new top scorer. Gabriel Jesus is our new top scorer. Season six begins now. It's actually amazing we've kept our job until so long, but if we don't win the big trophies like the Premier League and the Champions League, things could get ugly. Okay, I'm, I'm loving this team right now. Of course, a few players are getting old. Let me show you guys the older players of this squad, like Ricardo Pereira, Castagne. Basically, we need a new right back. That is 100% sure. You know what? Let's go out there and get the right back position sorted first. Malo Gusto is 84 rated at the age of 24. I've never used this guy before. Look at those stats. Let's get him. Okay, this is actually frustrating. This player is not for sale as the team doesn't have enough depth in this position. What an L. We'll go for Aaron Hickey then, a solid right back option. I'm gonna see if they'll be willing to take Ricardo Pereira because that'll make our life easier. We'll chuck in 35 million plus Ricardo Pereira. I think it's a good deal, but PSG probably wouldn't use Ricardo Pereira. Well, they will. We're not giving them 57 plus that, but we'll give them like 40 million plus Ricardo Pereira. That I wouldn't mind. Uh, the negotiations are still going on, but I'm countering with 46 million. Well, we're gonna agree at 47. That's fine. We're getting a new quality right back with this. Oh no, we've got a transfer offer from Liverpool for Schlotterbeck, and you guys know the rule. Teams that finish above us in the Premier League, we have to accept offers that come from them, but Liverpool didn't actually finish above us in the Premier League. Man City and Chelsea did, so we can conveniently reject this offer. Let's go. And we've got the right back sorted for this team. Aaron Hickey moving from PSG to Leicester. I love this, guys. Aaron Hickey has got our fullback position sorted. Next, where do we go for the big signing? We still have about 183 million, and I'm thinking we should spend it. I just keep looking at this team, and I literally can't find a position to improve upon. Uh, here, let me just think. Okay, we've got a transfer offer for 30-year-old Madison, 108 million. You know what? Instead of letting him slowly go down in his overall, let's cash in on him. We'll have over 300 million, I think, or at least 285 million to spend on an insane cam. I think I've got an insane idea if we can pull this off. Goodbye, Madison. You have been a fantastic servant to the club, but it's time for us to do something incredible. If we want to win the Champions League and the Premier League, we need players who have just sheer unbelievable quality. And for me, that's Phil Foden. 92 rated. I'm sure we can convert him to a cam. His contract's expiring. I reckon we can get him with an incredible deal. Let, let, let's seal this. Welcome Phil Foden to Leicester City. This is the kind of signing that could change everything for us. I mean, we did pay the big box, 143 million. But the fact that we sold Madison for 108. This is like a dub. But for sure, this would be a waste if we can't convert him to a cam. So I'm hoping it's possible. Let's see. Yes, couple of weeks. Perfect. Wow. This team now with Phil Foden, it is just insane. Our entire midfield is 90 plus rated. This season, we've got to win a major trophy. Oh my god. I refuse to believe this. We finished outside the top four with a team like what we have. This is absurd. How have we finished fifth? Thankfully, we did win the FA Cup and that is trophy number seven. That could literally help us keep our job. We lost the UEFA Super Cup, sadly. Literally, our Champions League run is going to decide probably whether we do get to keep our job or not. We topped our group. We knocked out Sporting. We knocked out Barcelona. This might be it. We got through Monaco. We're in the final against PSG. We need to win this. This is, I think, our first Champions League final. The best we've done is a semi-finals. Are we good enough to win it all? Let's see. We're simming this game, and on penalties, we've done it. We've won the Champions 
Champions League trophy number eight. This is incredible. It's crazy how we've won the Champions League first before even the Premier League. Even after winning the Champions League, our manager popularity rating is so freaking low. Oh my God. Gabriel Jesus again coming through. 27 goals. Harvey Barnes had a good season. New signing Phil Foden was a bit underwhelming. You'd expect a bit more. Hickey did well though. Gabriel Jesus is still our top scorer, but he's 31. I don't know how long he can keep doing this for us. We're starting off season seven with a bit of an L, winning the Champions League and all, but Ndidi's gone. Luke Thomas is gone. We need reinforcements. I really want to see if we can win the Premier League, but for that, we need a quality CDM. That's for sure. We do have 300 million to spend this season. Too many is in his prime. He's gone to Monaco, which is very interesting. I want to sign him. We'll convert him to a CDM. We should be sorted with that. 126 million is what we've negotiated. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and pull off something crazy and weaken Liverpool by signing Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. We're taking things seriously. I'm desperate to win the Premier League now. Otherwise, we, we still have that lingering shadow of being sacked, which I do not really want. So let's just get that Premier League title. Trent is going to cost us 138 million. Good thing we have the cash. So first up, the signing of Trent Alexander-Arnold is complete. That is one hell of a right back we've got in our team now. And next up, Aurelien Chumeni is here. We've got our new CDM. All right, guys, with the new signings, this is how our team looks like. It's crazy. Surely this is the season we can win the Premier League for the first time. Because we won the Champions League, a couple of our players have a chance to win the Ballon d'Or. Harvey Barnes and Gabriel Jesus nominated. Haaland and Mbappe are there, so I think it's going to be them. Who is it going to be? It's Erling Haaland always, man. It's 94 rated. Oh, frustrating. Is this the season we finally won the Premier League? Surely it is. Our team is so freaking good. And yes, we've won the Premier League by a huge margin of 10 points. Oh my god, finally. That might be trophy number 9 for us. And we're not done. There could be more trophies to be won. Well, we lost the Community Shield though. But we did win the Super Cup trophy number 10 in our 7th season. But what happened in our Champions League? Not a good sign that we finished second. But we got through Lazio. We got through Spurs 6-5. We have to make a ridiculous comeback. We got through Chelsea and we're in the final against Real Madrid. Back-to-back -back Champions League final, boys. Our team is so good that it's well-deserved that we're here. Almost every player in the team is 90-plus rated. Let's get that Champions League against Madrid and boom, that's exactly what's happened. 3-2 in the final. Trophy number 11. <laughs> Even with all that and completing most of our objective, our popularity rating is 59. What more do they want? Bro, we, we, surviving 10 seasons with Leicester, it's uh, gonna be ridiculous. No wonder Gabriel Jesus and Harvey Barnes got nominated for Ballon d'Ors. Look at their stats. I hope they win the Ballon d'Or this season because I think they deserve it. I'm just amazed that we've survived seven seasons going into our eighth season here. It's just three more. We need to do it, man. I want to complete a 10 season takeover in FIFA 23. We're starting off season eight with a banger. I've just signed literally the highest potential center back in FIFA 23. We won the league in the Champions League last season. It's time to create a dynasty. Bremer's gonna go on the bench, which is crazy. We'll have Guardiol play there, but I'm not done with our signings just yet. I've just gone ahead and signed Nuno Mendes from RB Leipzig for 100 million. That is our team now with Mendes and Guardiol. The defense is insane. The midfield and attack and everything is perfect. Let's go out there and retain our Premier League title. Make that 12 trophies because we've won back-to-back -back Premier League titles. I think we should survive a another season with Leicester after that. We couldn't win the Community Shield though, but we do get the FA Cup trophy number 13. Make that 14 because we won the UEFA Super Cup. What about the Champions League? Yes, we're in another final. Come on. Can we make it trophy number 15 by beating Madrid in the Champions League final? Yes, we can. Gabriel Jesus is the GOAT. Bro, at the age of 33, Gabriel Jesus, even though he's going down by a couple of ratings, has produced a masterclass. Class. 49 goals. You're kidding me. Eight seasons in, Gabriel Jesus has crossed 200 goals. It's season nine now, and we need to keep evolving if we want to keep our job at Leicester until the 10 season mark. Although our first team, I think, is as complete as it gets, I want to see the ages of the squad. You can already see Gabriel Jesus. 
Kieran Tierney to positions. Well, left back, we've basically signed Nuno Mendes, so we're fine. But we need to bring in a new striker because Gabriel Jesus is only going to get worse. He had a fantastic last season, but now I think it's the time to move on. Would a swap deal with Yusuf Amukoko work? If it would, that would be unreal. Let's just try this out. Gabriel Jesus is worth about 87 million. Let's add in another, say, well, 13 million. I think that should be fine. And if they're willing to work with this, well, they want 47. We've negotiated it down to 32. That's fine. And we're signing Mukoko. Normally, I'd keep Gabriel Jesus until the end. But you guys know on FIFA 23, it's so easy to get sacked. I want to survive the 10 seasons. And we got to keep evolving. And that's why we've signed Yusuf Mukoko. He's playing in that striker position. That's the only signing we're making this season. Can we retain the Premier League title again? In our ninth season with Leicester, we win the Premier League again. I don't know how many in a row we've done. Three or four. That's trophy number 16. We also win the Community Shield. Make that 17. This has been one of our most successful takeovers. UEFA Super Cup as well for us. Trophy number 18. And we're in the Champions League final against Bayern. Can we make it trophy number 19 by beating Bayern Munich? This is it. Oh, come on. We lost the Champions League to Bayern. Let's hope this doesn't get us sacked. The team is still looking absolutely insane. And stats wise, Mukoko kind of underwhelming. I expected a bit more from him. He just scored 18 times. Rodrigo and Harvey Barnes really picked up the mantle. Harvey Barnes' assist stat is actually mental. I think, guys, we've just about done it. Winning the Premier League means we should be able to manage Leicester City for that last season. Oh, come on. This is literally the first takeover where we've survived the 10 seasons. How mental is that? We've been given a budget of about 178 million for the final season, and I think there's only one change we need to make, and that's probably selling Harvey Barnes. We won't sell him, we'll keep him, but I do think we need to get a better left winger. There's this guy I've been hearing so much about these days, Kovica Koracikilia. Hopefully I've, I've, I've said his name right, but why not sign him? We just need a winger at the club for this final season. Why not? We could actually get him for 70 million because his contract's expiring. Uh, there you go. Wow, no way. In our final season, the game has just crashed. Bro, are you kidding me? We're gonna have to do it again. Okay, round two of trying to sign this guy. I'm just gonna delegate it. Let's just save ourselves a bit of time. And there you go. We've got our man, finally. Managed to sign him for about 70 million. There's our left winger. And I think that's our final transfer of this Leicester takeover. All right. So that's basically our team for the season. Let's try and win the Premier League one last time. And let's survive for the complete 10 seasons. In our final season, of course, we end up winning the Premier League. That is trophy number 19. A cheeky community shield. Make that 20. Our record with Leicester. That's incredible. FA Cup as well, bro. 21. Ah, we didn't win the Carabao Cup, but hey, can't complain. And we're in the Champions League final against Monaco. Let's win this and we'll be on 22 trophies and we would have survived the 10 seasons. Can we beat Monaco in the Champions League final? Yes, we can. Mukoko scores the winner. It's done. We've won the Champions League 22 trophies with Leicester City. And take that, EA. We've survived 10 seasons in this broken game that you've made where you just get fired for no reason. We did it. We survived. So after 10 seasons in Karimo, these are how the overalls look like. Foden, 96. Bellingham, 95. We managed to get too many after 92. Our keeper, Mamadishvili, we got him to 93 as well. We got Schlotterbeck to 91. Guardiola to 90. A pretty successful takeover, I'd say. And this season, Rodrigo was the man. Mukoko did better. Harvey Barnes, the assist king. He still ended up playing so much more than Kvicha, who just had three goals, but oh well. So Gabriel Jesus remains our top scorer and Harvey Barnes, our top assister after 10 seasons. So, that is that for this one, boys. We actually survived 10 seasons with Leicester. How insane is that? If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. This took me hours to record, so subscribe as well. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.